I'll put this over here for now. For yeah. And yeah, observe the, you know, physics, electricity and safety. <laughs> <laughs> This car looks really good, this color. Guys, it's about 10 o'clock right now at night and we're about to start working on this amazing car. And hopefully, we're about to wash it actually and hopefully we will start it up tonight. All right guys, we're about to wash this amazing car but just so you guys know, these are not original, these are some aftermarket things but the previous owners uh, told us that it's actually um, made uh, so when you're driving this thing, actually the air goes through these devices just to scare the deer uh, off because as you know, when you drive at night, depending where you are, um, you know, there's a lot of wild animals out there and they will run when they see headlights. But when these make the noise, apparently, I mean, I don't know what it sounds like, but apparently they, they scare those uh, animals away. I guess this is how everything looks after power washing it's not the best but it's totally like a lot a lot better than it used to be becoming really beautiful awesome it's a little messy but i did clean it up recently yeah. i cleaned up those bedrooms too the parts aren't oh. all scattered anymore now it's all yeah. in one bedroom everything's yeah. boxed and well organized all right guys this is spencer's garage a lot of cool stuff here he's building this truck it's gonna have om617 turbo in this thing it's got a lot of cool stuff and parts and you know this seat will go to one of his cars he's working on and yeah just a lot of cool stuff um there's the om617 right here and all right guys i'm about to take this battery out and spencer is taking the other battery out of the wagon so we'll put it right here and hopefully this engine will fire up we shall see all right so the battery's out so this tray eventually will have to come out and get cleaned up and repaint it but right now we're about to install this new battery from the wagon let's see so it should be the same way positive on this positive side yep on negative side. on that side you got it yeah hang on i'll give you light yeah it will fit there you go yeah that negative cable is always in the way yeah that should be for right now good enough i would yeah. say is completely frozen or it was frozen so what we're gonna do take these off one and two and then take this guy off hang on a sec and there should be 10 millimeter nuts on this thing the wing nut is usually on top right here. Okay. But I don't know why they yeah. put it like this. Okay. Yep, that should be it. it. Just lifts off. Carefully lift it off. Okay, now disconnect. Let's disconnect this line. Pull towards you. Wiggle it. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. There you go. Okay. So 
up carefully. It's a little bit sticky, so okay, that should be good enough. So when we get fuel pressure, this usually goes back up. Yeah, but it's a little sticky. Uh, it has been running for a long time. And cool, and we have lights. She's alive. There's something on. Yeah, something sounds like. That's okay. I want to worry about it right now. Just see if you can turn the key to the on position. Yeah, I didn't hear the pump, I think. Mm, okay, shut it off and turn it back on. Do it again. Nothing. I'm pretty sure this is for the fuel pump. Pretty sure. Fuel pump relay, 2003, it sits right there. Okay. So what I would, we're gonna do is just, I'll pop it back in, and then we're gonna try to hit that pump a little bit with like a tool. Sometimes it comes back to life, so. Maybe we'll get lucky, yeah. Oh, this linkage is really stiff too. Ooh. So yeah, when we crank the car, we do have to like, I mean, it, it's okay, nine, we have less than 9.2 nine, nine nine was the most I saw. That's okay, because the battery's getting a little low, but uh, yeah, that should still be enough to run this pump. So something's up with that pump for sure. So we'll probably have to replace that pump. All right, we can give it the, can, we can give the power directly to this pump, see if it runs. Either way, uh, hopefully that pump that you have it's the same one, we can just replace it. So, yeah, we had this fuel pump relay out. So this is actually a brand new fuel pump. It was barely used. So we're gonna install this pump on this car because we're getting feed to the fuel pump, but the old fuel pump is just dead. So we're gonna replace that. I have just pulled this whole thing out. Yeah. You mean the whole assembly or what? Yeah. I think it's only held on by one bolt. Here. Yeah, there's just a screw you see on the bracket, the Phillips. And that's holding the pump and then a few hoses that connect to it and then electrical connectors. Those two electrical connectors, positive and negative. All right, guys, Spencer is currently replacing the fuel pump on this car. It's pretty simple. It's actually only one fuel pump. Later, W126 has had two fuel pumps. Uh, so this one only has one, so that's a big plus. So he's replacing that right now, and then we'll throw some fresh gas in it, and then we'll try to fire it up. Hopefully, we have fuel pump uh, that comes online, and uh, yeah, hopefully this engine runs. Because we tried cranking it, and it crank, it's cranking, so that's a really good sign. This is the old one I just took out. Oh wow, look at this thing. This inlet side is just all gunked up. Wow, that is nuts. That is pretty crazy. He's installing a new one on right now. Maybe that's why it, that rubber piece was on there because it's a little bit thinner than the old one. Yeah. So we got the pump installed, but now I left this feed hose in and uh, I'm going to put the fuel in, fresh fuel, but before that I noticed there's a bunch of garbage in there. That's not good. We have to take these hoses off and clean them out. Oh wow. So I just took out the hose and this thing is all blocked. The hose that was here is probably
partially blocked also. That's horrible. So it's crazy guys. We took this off and there's just so much sludge from dried up gasoline over the years. And there's the same story inside this hose that goes to the tank. So that's pretty crazy. Right here, see that? Damn, this is what we found. It's a lot of sludge. I don't think this is rust. This is just sludge. This car was sitting for 10 years. Oh man. Okay, so now we're gonna try and see. Spencer took off these lines. That's one of them. And then this one. Let's see how what, what we can see. Whether there are any there's any junk in there. From here it seems like there's it's doing fine might be a little dirty but i don't see a lot of it garbage it didn't seem clogged. okay i'm gonna leave this off for now guys so honestly saying i'm pretty shocked i've never experienced this in my life but in the fuel tank and fuel system at least from the tank to the pump is just super gunked up so i open open this thing right here and it's just really really bad hell Well, long story short, there's there's a bunch of gunk in there as well. So what we're thinking is that before this car was parked, there was probably this tank was probably full, and during those ten years, the heat and everything, it just all kicked on inside the tank and lines and everything. So that's pretty insane. So right now we're gonna go try to get some diesel, probably or gas, whatever it is. We need to find a solution how we can clean out this tank. But I feel like this tank will have to come out either way, but we got to find a solution how we can get this thing cleaned up.